Chamis a will defeat Ed says Ibal Mandaza. The country's two major political parties, ZANU-PF and the MDC, which both find themselves fielding new presidential faces in this year's harmonized elections, are ramping up their preparations for the impending polls. This comes as a leading political analyst, Ibal Mandaza, has predicted a victory for new opposition leader Nelson Chamiza in the elections, as long as the polls are free and fair. However, respected University of Zimbabwe political science professor, Eldred Masananwar, begged to differ and said empirical evidence pointed to a comfortable ZANU-PF victory in the polls. For the first time in two decades, the forthcoming elections will not feature ousted former President Robert Mugabe and the popular late MDC leader, Morgan Sven Irai, who lost his valiant battle with colon cancer in February this year. Mugabe's 37-year, iron-fisted rule was dramatically ended by the intervention of the military in the country's governance last November, paving the way for the installation of his longtime aide Emerson Ngagwa as his successor both in government and in ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF spokesperson Simon Kayama Moyo told the Daily News yesterday that the former liberation movement was going to its grassroots structures to mobilize its members ahead of the polls. He also said that this officially marked the kicking off of the party's election preparations, which included an audit of its structures, and after which it would embark on the selection of parliamentary candidates. The party's national chairperson, Upamashinkuri Kashiri, who also leads its elections directorate, said her team would be concluding its election manifesto soon. We are seized with the manifesto and it won't be too long now before we conclude it she said. On the other hand, Chamiza has hit the campaign wheel with relish, which is seeing him holding two rallies every weekend. On Saturday, he told a well-attended party rally in Mirlawa that the MDC alliance would also soon unveil its election manifesto. More than 107 political parties have registered with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission to participate in the forthcoming elections, with the presidential plebiscite seen as a two-way tussle between Chamiza and Angagwa. However, Chamiza's ascendancy to the leadership of the MDC has not been without its fair share of drama. Long-serving MDC Vice President, Tako Zinikoub, who was fired from the party alongside two other senior officials last Friday, has since notified that she will in fact be the MDC's presidential candidate in the elections. The firing of Coop, National Spokesperson Albert Utu and Organizing Secretary Abe Nagobeb also followed the surprising resignation of Chairperson Love Moyo over the leadership rumpus. And yesterday, Guta took to microblogging site Twitter to announce that the splinter group led by Coop would field candidates nationally in both parliamentary and council elections, apart from having her as the party's presidential candidate. The genuine, lawful, rightful and legitimate MDCT led by acting president Ham Dr. Kokosini Coop will be fielding candidates in both parliamentary and local authority seats throughout the length and breadth of Zimbabwe, Guta said even as critics derisively referred to the splinter group as MDC Thakozanu on social media. Shamiza has been receiving widespread support among the MDC's supporters, apart from also receiving a ringing endorsement from the MDC alliance which has said he will be its sole presidential candidate. Apart from the MDC, the alliance includes 10 Diabetes People's Democratic Party PDP, Relshman Cubes MDC. Jacob Ngirvum's Transform Zimbabwe, Zanu Ndonga headed by Denford Mazayirira, and the multiracial Christian Democrats which is led by Matthias Kachatu. Meanwhile, Mandaza has predicted a Chamisa victory in the elections as long as the polls are held in a free, fair and credible manner. ZANU-PF is wounded and it's unlikely to win a free and fair election. The new kid on the block is Chamisa who has captured the imagination of youths and I see nothing stopping him," he said. But Masanangra saw things differently. We are dealing with unknown factors. Both Amgagwa and Chamiza have not really been tested as presidential candidates. Their abilities to attract voters are not known. We might have new players, but fundamentally, the playing field has remained the same because they are still operating with their parties. 
I agree with those saying Zanu PF is winning the contest comfortably, although not as resoundingly as in 2013. I would also like to warn that the talk that youths will vote Chamiza is mistaken because the demographics have been gravitating towards Zanu PF. So what Chamiza needs is to reverse that trend rather than focus on the lie that the youths seen at his rallies will automatically translate into votes. On the balance, I would say the scales are tipped towards Zanu PF, Masanangar told.